Alright, so in the last video, we learned about how to create our users using our, our API. So now we have a user registration system. Now we're going to be looking at how to log in our user. So to do that, we have our Visual Studio code. So we have to create a function, which is going to be called login. We can delete this and just as you expected, we're going to put a request for our login also. Alright, so we have login request. So inside the login request, make sure you set it to true. Then we want to go ahead and pass in. We want them to be able to log in with that. Let's make it email and password. Um, let's just make it username and password. Username and password yeah, is going to be um, acquired. So basically, we can copy what we have from this place, which is just this. We don't want the unique because we are not creating the user. Right then, for the password the same thing that we have in this place which is all required and the minimum should be six characters okay good now for the login character now login um method i mean so you call login request and you can go ahead and call this request also once that is done we can go ahead and request then call this validated so just like saying validate our stuff for us then head back to postman so I can just duplicate this. So that is basically what I do. I just duplicate it then. I set this to login. And this won't actually work now because we're going to uncheck this because we don't need it actually. So this won't work because we haven't added this in our route. So we have to add this in our route. Control P to rename this to login. Okay, good. Now, so let's go ahead and let's just get our Make this two letter and let's see if our validation is working. Good, so our validation is working. Nice. So for the login controller now, so the first thing we want to do is check our user. So we say user want to get our user data. So we say user where email. So we are basically saying select off of user where the email is equals to um this email here. Okay, now we're going to say first. So we are selecting just the first one now. Basically, we don't need to do first because it's actually going to get one because uh, you know we are making it unique. But I believe it's more preferable this way. Uh, oh, sorry, are we using email or username? Okay, we're using username. So this is going to be username instead. And this is going to be username. So this code up there, up there, right? We can also be converted something like this user. We are username is equal to request exit request username as you can see. So it is um I think it's more beautiful like this. So we can go and do if or uh, not just basically if there is no user without email or or maybe there's a user then our password doesn't match. So the value we want is a request password. They want to get our, have our hashed value. Our hashed value is going to be user select the password. Then basically, if there's no user at all, the password doesn't match. We can go ahead and do return. We can go ahead and return the response. So return the response here. Sorry. So this response we can do a message as a. Um, invalid invalid credentials all right so we can go ahead and set this to like 422 which is i think um, on process content so that is basically when we are dealing with validation also well uh, let's let's let us cross check that so let's take a look at the request so let me just remove this password i should send this Yes, it is 42 on process content as you can see. So let's make it 42 like that. Okay. So we can go ahead and test this by using a wrong username. So run this. You can see we have invalid credentials as expected. Alright, so once that is done, to make a go ahead and do uh you can get an out but oh yes, our user token here, so you can copy this. 
So you can go and copy this here. You can go and return basically what we have. Sorry. So you can copy that and just return it. And yep. So instead of 201, you're going to make this 200. Sorry. So my hand is actually clumsy. I don't know why. So we have, if this is not value verified, we can return this message in value condition. Else, it's just going to create a token for us and return our results to us because you know we don't need to pass in our user like something like um bot. Then we can go and pass in something like user or something. No, because um, we are using a token to authenticate our user here. Okay, so let's go ahead and pass in the correct credential. Send this. We have invalid credentials for some reason. Yeah. So we basically say if not user, and oh no, you know what? Let's go ahead and delete this user and let's see if I'm actually getting the user itself. Let's go to preview, send. Yep, I'm getting the user data, right? So that is cringy. Save this and let's send. So we are still getting valid conditions. So basically that means the password we are including is not correct. Okay, let's take a look at our... So I have this password here, so I can just copy this. Well, after like five hours of straining, straining my eyes, looking at the code and I found out that you know, you're using not here, so if it's not the user, then also want to make sure if the password is not correct. So, it was, so basically, I think we run the code with the incorrect password, it's going to actually run through. But okay, so the add notes to this hash here, go ahead and save it. Head over back to Postman, now we can go ahead and run our request. And you can see now we've created, uh, we've actually logged down our user and we've gotten a token. Good. So, this section has been dealt with. The next section we're going to be looking at is how to create. Uh, um how to create a feed like a forum post on our page so yeah that's what i'm gonna be doing next so if you're hyped make sure you like and subscribe see you next time peace